What's going on guys, McDoobie here and I'm back with more Star Trek Online. And if you remember, in the last episode, we uh, we were attacked by Klingons. Can I help this guy? No. Um, wait. No, that, I thought that might have been like, uh, it looks like he's performing CPR, but no. Wait, maybe. It does look like, it's, it's, it's definitely a tricorder. Uh, anyway, so also what I decided as well because I, I, I don't, I'm recording this on my PS4 because of um, my technological limitations and I don't seem to get enough in in the 15 minute videos that it allows you to record so I've decided I'm going to do double upload every day which is yeah so why is it not working? Maybe I don't... I've got to breach a door. Where's the door that I breach? Is it... This isn't a door. What the hell? My God. Where the hell is this door? Alright, hang on. What was the button? It's supposed to point me where I need to go. What? All right, let's head out of here. Ah. Okay, that's why it was all. Um... Ah. The... Is he okay? Hey, you yeah, alright, buddy? So the game kind of glitched out a little bit, but... Never mind. Right, I need to do this. Because I'm, I'm the uh, chief engineer. No, I'm not, I'm the captain. But I'm... Engineer guy. Reinforcing structural integrity field. Captain, I'm nearly done. Where's the captain? I bet he's dead. It's gonna play out like the uh, storyline of the movie, isn't it? Where the hell is this other stru- Oh, got, gotta go and do it there again? Okay. All you had to do was say. Number one. Right away, sir. Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area. Yes, you secure this area. Well, I can use I can use the turbo lift. Out of my way. I'm the first officer. Raski! Oh crap! Oh yeah, I like this much better. Let me medicate this guy. I don't know how to. I don't know, understand what it wants me to do. Oh, okay. Resuscitating. It's not. He's not unconscious. 
I owe you both. Where's the next guy? Come on, Travel, get up. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. On screen. This is Captain Kane of the IKS chart. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains clumped. You have no hope of fighting us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Never. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain? No, one. Captain. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders. Your orders are to look onto my combat and fire. Captain. Make me proud. I will, Captain. Target lock, Captain. I've got goosebumps. Fire. And Godspeed, Captain. Boom Town. We've lost their signal. What now? The bats must still be there. Lock onto it again. Uh, speak to Flores. We, we survived. But the, the captain... Captain Taggart knew what happened. And he gave the order anyway. Ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember it. Indeed. I just need to go to the options. Because I can't hear a damn thing. Where's the voice? Is that... It's hard to see, they're so far away. Because I couldn't really hear them. Is that... Yeah. Sit in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm captain of the ship. Oh, okay. Eliza Flores is now your bridge officer. Eliza Flores reporting for duty. Okay. Alright. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage. But some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Travel, send out a distress call. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Keep trying, Eliza. What's the status of that Klingon ship? She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Zava, damage report. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. What about break-even? Hail them, Travel. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. SS break-even. This is a Starfleet vessel, USS Ferenga Prize. What is your status? Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. No hard feelings, right? I had to send that distress.
Let's see what we can do. Can we beam them aboard? <laughs> nice. Thanks. We'd help you if we could, but I just don't see any profit in that. You know? Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you. I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons. Zava, do you have that damage report? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Do you have replacements? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple the ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to war. Any ideas, Eliza? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Do it. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. I don't know what a nacelle is. I should. Who's ship? How do I go faster? This is... Is this maximum pulse? What was that? My... God! These plasma injectors will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R if I had to guess. 3.7 liter float put to a shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction well. Stay focused and work fast. There's still a Klingon out there who wants to kill us. You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one diagnostic. We don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. Eliza, give me a status report. Sarva's dealing with the warp part, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh. Don't forget the cloaked Klingon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tevrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Sounds good. Okay, that's all I've got time for for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already. I would love to have you. And until the next time, goodbye.